this game. Oh boy. This game. I can't say that. Demonetized. Try it again. Whoever recommended this to me, uh, I hate you. So, uh, Inevitable Town. It's a Roblox JoJo game. It's a wave defense survival game. And it starts like this. With the most telling Eclipse, we know you're gonna play this f you of all time. I demonetized again. Damn it. Reminder, this game is utterly confusing, poorly built, difficult, and has no proper tutorial. A guide or a wiki is recommended. <laughs> there is more to the game than meets the eye, and exploration is encouraged. If you like suffering and bad game design, carry on. Okay, well, I don't like any of those things, so we're done. See ya. That's really where the video should have ended. I should have stopped playing right here because the developers of this game knew what they made. They made a pile of crap, and they didn't want me to play it because they left this nice reminder here to say, just cross out all of this and put, Eclipse, do not play this game. You will hate it. And I played it anyway, because I'm a f***ing idiot, a glutton for punishment, and I just love money that much, I guess. Ah! So, unsurprisingly, uh, every single thing that was in that little reminder from the start of the game is 100% true. The game is utterly confusing. It's kind of poorly built. It's incredibly difficult, but not in the fun way, in the super unfun way. There's sort of a tutorial, but they don't execute it even remotely well. But they lied about the game being more than meets the eye because it is definitely uh, meets the eye. Oh, and exploration? Exploration is a waste of your f***ing time. So uh, if you're thinking about exploring, forget about it. So I want to start there, but first I have to explain exactly what this game is. And I can honestly go through an entire playthrough of this game right now. So you start off at the train station, you wander around a bit, then you find an NPC. The NPC tells you what Arrows and Rokas does, then teleports you around a few times, and then dies. And after he dies, enemies will spawn in waves and you kill them. Eventually, you die, and then it resets. And when it resets, you have to do that all again. Yes, even the fucking tutorial, but we'll get there. Let's start with exploration. This game says that exploration is encouraged, but it couldn't be more wrong, because I spent a very large amount of time wandering around, and I found maybe three things in my entire time playing this game. But there was one thing that I found a whole lot of, and that was pointless fucking invisible walls literally everywhere blocking you from exploring anything. So you're gonna tell me that you just told me that exploration is encouraged, but you blocked me at every humanly possible path so that way I can't actually explore everything. All of the doors are shut. All of the high grounded verticality is blocked off by invisible walls. I mean, just look at this area of the map. You have it so that way I can jump onto the beach. You have a bunch of fires and chairs or whatever the hell is over there, but I can't actually get there because there's an invisible fucking wall in the way. You know, what you could have done is you could have not lied and you could have put something interesting or cool over there and axed the invisible wall. And then if I went out of my way to come over here and I went to that spot and I would have been like, huh, there's an item here or something to pick up, but no. No, that's not what it is. What they meant by exploration is encouraged is that they meant exploration of the wiki and the Trello. That is encouraged. You should explore your internet browser in order to figure out all of the things that you're gonna do in this game because um, you're not gonna find it on the map. Now, let's double back to that tutorial, shall we? Because this just breaks my brain. It blows my mind and I, I just don't understand because they specifically say that there is no proper tutorial, and yet they make a tutorial, it's just not helpful. It's like the tutorial itself is a troll. The tutorial effectively tells you arrows give you stands, rokas reset the stands. Wow, that's an absolutely riveting and helpful tutorial. That really helped me in this game. Not 
Basically, everyone who's playing this already knows that. And then the tutorial NPC eats shit and dies. And that, that's all you get. All right, well, later when I was playing, I learned that there's an entire crafting system. There's a cauldron that you have to get from this specific point in the map. That would have been nice to know about in the tutorial. It would have been nice to know that there's a library that has a recipe list for all of the items that you can craft. I mean, at least they had the common courtesy of giving you a recipe list. It would have been nice if I was told that this rock guy that doesn't even look like a rock guy, if you hit him enough times, which I only found out by accident that you could even hit him, gives you rocks. Who's gonna figure that out unless you're extremely lucky like I was? Like, all of these things you could have put in the tutorial instead of, oh, arrows give you stands and Rokas take them away. Oh, fucking thanks, man. That's real helpful. I'm really glad you told me that. They shouldn't have said that the game doesn't have a properly built tutorial. They should have rearranged some of those words and said they had a poorly built tutorial because if you're gonna have the tutorial, why not at least make it worthwhile instead of fucking worthless? Now, in terms of the actual game and gameplay itself, well, that is not very good either. In fact, I would go as far to say that that's just flat out bad. The hitboxes on the enemy attacks are really small, which is good because if you're playing a wave defense mode where your health doesn't regen unless you kill enemies, then obviously you don't want to be constantly taking unavoidable damage. The problem is that I guess the developers didn't get the memo that games are supposed to be fun because your hitboxes are just about equally as horrible. And because of that, a lot of the time when you go to attack an enemy, you attack them, they attack you, and you're constantly trading blows back and forth. So if you don't do this really, really awkward cheese where you put yourself at this very specific interval so that way you can wait, have them hit, go in for a singular hit, and then run away again and do this over and over again with this conga line of enemies, which, spoiler alert, is very, very unfun gameplay. There's nothing fun about this. Then you just, that that's what you do. That's the game. There's a dash, block, and parry mechanic, but against a bunch of these starter enemies, their attacks come out so fast that you're not reasonably going to be able to parry and dodge and block every single one of them. So you're just gonna play the little conga line game and walk backwards, wait for them to attack, then you attack, rinse, repeat. Now, this is the part of the video where I would talk about the weapons or the stands in this game. If I had any weapons or stands in this game, this is a Roblox JoJo game where my entire playthrough, I never touched anything Roblox JoJo related. Not once. I got kind of close at one point where I think I had two rocks and two water bottles and in order to craft an arrow, you need to get three water bottles to make a potion, which you then combine with the two rocks and a stick, I think, or something in order to get an arrow. I assume maybe arrows can spawn in this little item spawner thing that happens in the park. Maybe, I have no clue, but I didn't get an arrow, not once, which means I never got a stand, which maybe is for the best. Maybe they're hiding the stands because in their game description, they fully admit that they just stole ABD's assets, I guess. You know, so many games are stealing ABD's assets that I'm starting to wonder, and I really don't know the answer to this, so please let me know in the comments if you do, but is ABD just alright with everyone stealing their shit? <laughs> like, real question. If they are, then power to them. I'll stop talking about this, but I've played so many ABD clones and games that just blatantly steal their assets that I'm starting to think that maybe ABD just doesn't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure they're still around. People keep talking about how they want to make a big comeback. They won't, but they keep talking about it. So are, are ABD developers just all right with people stealing their shit? I have, I have no clue. So to recap, exploration is encouraged, but is absolutely pointless. The tutorial is just horrendously bad and teaches you things you probably already know while not teaching you things that you actually do have to know and the gameplay itself is just horrifically bad. So what are we even left with? 
Well, we're left with a relatively unfair game where when you die, you have to sit through the entire tutorial. Every single time. They couldn't even be bothered to put in a skip tutorial button. How the fuck? Literally, just a button, start game. That's all they had to do. One button, start game. If you've played the game before, you just skip all of it, start right from wave one. Nope, gotta go find this guy, let him talk, and then, hey, look, this time since I ignored him and ran away, I got teleported, and I still have to sit here and wait for all this dialogue to start for the game to actually begin. Why? And eventually, of course, there was going to be the straw that broke the camel's back, because on my very last run, where I felt like I might have finally sort of been improving at the game, everything started going dark. Uh, and then this happened. Yep. Fuck you.